Today we are celebrating a very significant milestone in the uh, development of the Portman Bridge. We have seen the center span, the, the final piece that bridges Coquitlam and Surrey placed on the bridge this morning. We're out here today celebrating that. There's a great deal of work still to be done, but it is an incredible milestone and uh, as I've said many times today, uh, a huge thank you goes out to the men and women who have been working on this project and TI Corporation. Uh, Mike, who has really been a leader and shown true leadership uh, throughout the development of this bridge and construction of the project. So it, it's a pretty incredible day to be able to hear. We walked from the Coquitlam side today, both Dave Hayer and myself, uh, along with a couple of other people over to the Surrey side, and uh, it really is coming together. We're going to see this bridge open in December of this year. It is going to be a huge benefit to the public down here in the Lower Mainland, as well as all British Columbians. This is a significant milestone day on the Portman Highway 1 project. We today installed the center connection between the Coquitlam and Surrey pieces of the bridge. This concludes the, um, the driving path and we can walk from one end of the bridge to the other as of today. Things have been going very well on this project. It's been three years since construction started and here we are standing today on the widest bridge in the world, the second longest cable stay in North America and the connection made at the middle. Um, that's very significant and done in concert with improvements over a 37 kilometer stretch of the highway between Vancouver and Langley. Throughout that entire section there's significant work underway, projects within the mega project, all in the direction of affording new options for for travelers with the bus, with the HOVs, and of course eliminating 14 hours a day of congestion.